Possessing high mobility, strong firepower, and solid armor, Sweden's CV-90 transforming monster is rated, not inferior to the American Striker. Combat Vehicle 90, or CV-90, is a weapon system built on the CV-90 chassis. The CV-90 itself is a weapons project developed by the Swedish branch of BAE Systems during the Cold War, which began serving the Swedish army in 1993 and fought in Afghanistan. During this campaign, the Taliban tried to attack CV-90 with modern anti-tank fire, but failed completely. To date, there were 16 variants of the CV-90, modified to fulfill various roles, with over 1,000 vehicles were built. The Swedish version of the main infantry fighting vehicle is fitted with a turret from Bofors, that is equipped with a 40mm Bofors auto cannon, while all export models are fitted with 30mm or 35mm cannons. Even though the CV-90 is being offered since the early 1990s, and the basic design is nearly 30 years old. However protection of this IFV, was constantly improved in order to address evolving threats. The design of the CV-90 is typical of modern infantry fighting vehicles. The internal configuration consists of the driver and engine in the front of the hull, with the turret at center and fighting compartment to the rear. Its track design allows for relatively unimpeded cross-country travel as well as on roads. A large door is fitted to the rear of the vehicle, and hull sides are vertical while protected in thin armor skirts with a slight saw-tooth design apparent. It is claimed that the front arc of the CV-90 withstands hits from 30mm armor-piercing rounds. All-round protection is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. Depending on the weapon configuration of each variant, this vehicle line has a weight from 25 tons to 39 tons. The vehicle also sports an NBC protection kit and automatic fire suppression device, as well as night vision for the three crew. Its inherent design shape also provides a low profile, which makes for a more difficult target to successfully engage at range. Latest versions of the CV-90 withstand mine blasts equivalent to 10 kg of TNT. Applique ceramic armor can be added to later production models, for all-round protection against 30mm armor-piercing rounds, and improved protection against blasts and improvised explosive devices. A slat armor can be fitted for protection against tandem charge RPG rounds. Mobility is provided by a Scania DSi Model 14 or Model 16 Series V8 diesel fueled engine, outputting between 550 and 810 horsepower depending on engine fitting. Maximum road range on the first production vehicles was only 300 km. On later models it has been increased to 600 km. It can fully amphibious with preparation. The main armament of the CV-90 IFE is a Bofors 40mm cannon, which is a modified anti-aircraft gun, developed in the early 1950s. This gun proved to be a very successful design. Even now it can easily defeat pretty much all armored personnel carriers and infantry fighting vehicles. It also poses threat to older tanks such as the T-55 and T-62. The original vehicles did not have gun stabilization system, and thus cold not fire accurately on the move. Export versions of the CV-90 are armed with 30mm or 35mm cannons. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a 71mm mortar. The CV-90 is equipped with a universal tank and anti-aircraft sight from Saab. Daytime optical, thermal imaging system, and Generation 3 image intensification. The Norwegian IFE, C2, Reki, Mortar and Combat Engineer variants are delivered with the Konsberg Protector Remote Weapon Station, with 360 degrees day and night sights, 
as well as hunter killer capability. Developed specifically for the Nordic subarctic climate, the vehicle has very good mobility in snow and wetlands while carrying and supporting eight, later versions six, fully equipped, dismounted soldiers. Other variants include forward artillery observation, command and control, anti-aircraft, armored recovery vehicle, electronic warfare and so forth. The CV-90 and Hagelin Z-Series turrets have been under continuous development, with more than 4 million hours invested, and are still produced with modern protection, armament and network-enabled solutions.